William Baker and today we're going to go over the Coleman Lantern 263BH. This is an awesome bunk model. You have the big super slide over here with the sofa and the dinette. Rear double over double bunks and you have a second entry directly into the bathroom. As you'll see in the 263 it is nice and spacious thanks to this super slide really giving you a lot of area. Not just to move around and pass each other, but also for the kiddos. You know, if they want to sit right down here and play, they have plenty of space. Or if you bring a dog with you, they can roam around pretty easily as well. Take a look at the kitchen. You'll also notice you have good countertop space. You have the awesome uh, seamless thermal foil countertops, which allow an undermount sink to be put in here. Much cleaner lines, a cleaner look. You have the larger bowl on the left, smaller on the right, which is perfect setup for washing and rinsing dishes. High rise uh, faucet right here as well. And if you take a look in the back, you will see the beautiful backsplash. It's like the gray subway tile. Just kind of helps accentuate the kitchen itself. You have two electrical outlets right here as well as dual USB port and a window there. Storage all the way across the top here as well. Moving down a little bit, you'll see the microwave. Directly underneath that is your hood with both the light and the fan. And then you have your recessed three burner cooktop with the glass cover. So from here all the way over to the sink is great usable prep space. This does fold up and back just like so to double as a backsplash. And then your knobs here light up as well. So if you want you know, an extra, little extra courtesy light at night, you can have that. Then if you drop down the oven, you'll see that button also controls the light inside your oven in case you want a light on. Right next door to that, moving over, you'll see these right here. You have three drawers running down the center. The bottom two are nice and deep here as well. So top one for your flatware, bottom two for some of your bigger utensils like knives, spatulas, things like that. And then you also have plenty of room here underneath the sink for a trash can. Making our way down a little further, we'll open up the fridge freezer combo. You do have the Norcold. This one, folks, runs off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover. And then down a little bit further yet, you will see the versatile storage area right here. Now, personally, I would probably use this for kids' clothes, but if you want, maybe you're not bringing the kids or whatever, you have, you know, their clothes stored elsewhere, you can certainly use this as a pantry or linen closet or a combination of all three if you so choose. Thermostat is located right back here on the back wall. This one controls your ducted heat as well as the ducted AC, all from the one thermostat, so it's nice and convenient. And if we come in the back here, this is, of course, your bathroom. As I mentioned, right here is that secondary entrance. The toilet is angled to really maximize space, so you have plenty of leg room as well as shoulder room here. Mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. You can see the storage there. You have a big bowl here for your sink as well, so that way if you know it's easy to wash your hands, you don't get a bunch of splatter everywhere. You'll see electrical outlet there. You also have a little bit of storage as well as uh, access to your P-trap and other plumbing right underneath. And then, of course, behind me is the tub shower. A tub is nice to have in a bunk model because if the kids uh, need to take a bath, you can still do that. Or again, if you bring the dog, want to wash the dog inside, you're able to do that as well. I will take a step in here. I am six foot tall. As you can see, I do have a little bit of space to the ceiling. If you're taller, you're six one, six two. you may have to bend down a little. But Coleman does have high ceiling heights, just what allows me to stand in here without having to bend over. You'll also notice the hand wand there. It just makes showering up a little bit easier. Coming out of the bathroom, you'll see right here in the back corner are your two double over double bunks. You have USB port up there, so if kids need to charge their devices, they can do that. 300 pound weight capacity and a built-in ladder. I'll climb in this bottom one here just to kind of give you an idea of size. So as I said, I am six foot. As you can see, I can stretch completely out here, lay on my side, lay on my back, whatever. This side will be a tiny bit shorter, so you know, if, uh, you're, you're a little bit taller than that, you know, you might want to sleep on the inside or whatever. But as I, as I said, with 300 pound weight capacity, you may even be able to sleep two adults in there. Certainly one, no problem at all. Big super slide right over here. Of course, your dinette. This is a great spot to sit down, have meals together, play games together. It does drop down into additional sleeping space. You'll see it has LED lights underneath. The switch is right there on the wall if you wish to turn it off. To make it into a bed, just remove these legs, drop the table down, take the back cushions, throw it on top, you're good to go. Underneath each seat, you'll see additional storage there. And making our way a little bit further, the jackknife sofa. Both of these armrests right here are removable. Great thing about a jackknife, folks, take a look at that right there. You have a ton of extra storage under there, which is fantastic. You can lift it up like I did, like most jackknives. Or you can actually take this. It has a little handle. This will drop down as well, so if you want to access it that way, you can do that. 
Uh, this center armrest does drop down too, so kind of creates pseudo theater seating there. The other thing I want to point out is take a look at this, folks. Look, I'm standing underneath the slide. That is something you can't do very often in travel trailers, especially a six foot person. Most of the time you have to bend over. So as I said, they have higher ceiling heights, higher slide heights. So you're getting up out of the sofa, you don't have to worry about banging your head. Right up front here is the entertainment center. Of course, TV will be mounted right there. Connections over to the side, multimedia center. This controls your speakers in here as well as outside. Uh, it is Bluetooth capable and a DVD player. So you can throw a movie in there. Plug the old uh, audio video jacks right here into the TV and you can watch a movie. Then you'll see plenty of storage right here. You will also notice your fuse panel as well as your breaker box. Propane leak detector right over to the side. And I do want to show this as well. Right underneath the sink here, you'll see you have some additional storage for whether it's pots, pans, you want to throw some shoes in there. It's just great extra storage. Here in the bedroom, you'll see the queen bed right in the center. This does have storage underneath. You simply lift up the bottom and you will see the big storage area there. Both sides of the bed, you have nightstands. You have drawers built in too, which is great. So, you know, you kind of have a little private area there for anything you want to have next to the bed. You will also see electrical outlets and USB ports there. Right up top, you will have your mirrored wardrobe with your hanging rod. A shelf going across the top here. You also have a switch uh, right up top, and that controls this uh, LED light that is lit underneath the shelf. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the 2019 Coleman Lantern 263BH. Right up front is your power tongue jack. Simply flip the switch to raise and lower the tongue there. You also see you have a light right up front for some added visibility at night. Right behind that, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with your cover right here. Undo the two thumb screws, lift up that door to get access to those tanks. And behind that, you have rails for your battery. Coming up the front is diamond dutch plating, helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And as you will see, this one has a three-year structural warranty, which is currently the best in the industry. Coming around to the side, you'll see that the Coleman also has solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. And then as we open up the pass-through, it is worth noting it is a magnetic latch, so it sticks up just like that, nice and simple. And if you take a look inside, you can see how big and open that pass-through is, folks. Coleman has huge pass-throughs for travel trailers, which is awesome. It's open all the way through, same size door on the other side. And take a look at the size of the opening here. As you can see, you have this massive opening, so even if you have bigger items like large grills, executive chairs, things like that, you can still fit them in the pass-through here. Power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. You'll also see you have an LED light strip on there, so you have light at night. Two outside speakers, as I mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. You have the solid step right here to the main entrance. This is an awesome step system. It has adjustable legs on here. As you can see, it is exactly that. It's very solid. You don't have that springboard effect. You have three aluminum steps. All the, uh, the treads, as I mentioned, are aluminum, so they don't rust. And they have the grip tape on there for some added traction in the event that it's a little wet out. Power stabilizer jacks, both in the front and in the rear. So the one control here controls the two front. Control in the back controls the two rear ones. This one also is equipped with the, uh, the WineGuard Connect 2.0. You can see that guy right there. That's essentially a, a Wi-Fi extender. So that way if you're in the campground, you're not getting great Wi-Fi, that will help you. Or if you so choose, that one does have LTE capability. So that way you can get cell service if you're in a more remote area. You will also see you have an electrical outlet right out here in case you need to plug anything in and a fresh water inlet right there. Obviously you have to have that. Uh, it is convenient having it on the campsite. Just, you know, a lot of times when you have it parked, the campsite of course is, what is facing the house. So you don't have to drag your hose quite as far. But if you plan on going somewhere you don't have water hookup, you will definitely want to fill up your fresh water tank. Going back a little bit further, this is the black tank flush. So rather than sticking a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you just take a hose, hook it up right here, and then that black tank has sprayers built in. It will kind of wash everything out that gets left behind for you, just helping to ensure your black tank doesn't have uh, quite as many smells and help cleaning, cleaning up the sensors and everything in there so you're not getting as many false readings. As I mentioned, this one does have the second entrance directly into the bathroom. It's exactly what this is. Three foldable steps right here. Grab handle there as well. It's just a little guy, but it's better than nothing. At least that gets you up and in. 
Coming around to the back side, you will see your square tubular bumper with the end caps. Gives you a spot in which you can store your sewer hose. If you take a look underneath, you can see this right here, folks. That is a fully enclosed and insulated underbelly there. That'll help keep out road grime, hopefully some of the rodents in the off season and keep things under there a little bit warmer for you. You also see the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. And if you take a look right up top in the center, you'll see this one has backup camera prep. So if you want backup camera, Having the prep makes it easier to install because everything's already pre-wired, meaning it will save you money on labor. Right around the back side here, you will see your 30 amp power cord. Just pulls right out of there and plugs in. Super simple. Cable inlet right up top. Right underneath that is your city water inlet. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Lantern 263BH. If you're interested in this bunk model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.